recently I've seen a few videos where people are discussing NPK on fertilizer, what it means or what the N, the P, and the K stand for, <clears throat> and then go in to explain what each of them is responsible for in plant growth. And um, for some reason, everybody seems to mess these two up. So today I'm going to resolve that, clarify, and show you how we know that what I'm saying is the right way. So stay tuned, find out. All right, so I was gonna use this line to try and show you, and then I realized it's very confusing with it being a three-part. So three-part meaning you're gonna use the micro, the grow, and the bloom from start to end of plant life. You're just gonna, uh, you usually maintain your micro at the same amount across the entire thing. During veg, you want more grow, during flower you want more bloom so I've got some old friends that never get used lying around just to show now fun fact miracle grow and general hydroponics are owned by the same company uh, that's why check these they are opened but they are pretty much Still full to the brim. Uh, I will occasionally use this for flowers, ornamentals, but nothing that I plan to consume uh, would ever get Miracle Grow. But these ones are much better for showing uh, what I'm going to be talking about. So we have all purpose and we have bloom booster, right? So if we come back to here, I see all purpose plant food, 24, 8, 16. So that 24816 is what is referred to as the NPK, the nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. As you can see over here, nitrogen 24%, phosphate or phosphorus 8%, potash or potassium uh, 16%, and then some micros. But this is going to be a higher veg because it's got high nitrogen at 24 and a, a, a decent uh, phosphate at 8 and a really good potassium at 16. Now if we look at the back of the flower, the bloom boost, look at that. That's a 15, 30, 15. So the phosphorus or the phosphates jump way up. We go from eight to 30. And then your nitrogen and your potassium are reduced at about half. So nitrogen and first number, you want a high number when you're working on veg. Corn, high nitrogen consuming plant, you need a lot of nitrogen, right? So, if this was not miracle Grow, I would dump that on there to feed it with a nice high 24%, right? And they would love that. So, that's how we know that P 
potassium, or sorry, phosphorus, P, and P is responsible for flowers. Flowers and fruit. Okay, that's why that one jumps up. So, if we were to come over to say tomatoes, right? Because our tomatoes are in the, in the flowering phase. You see them flowers? So, those would be good candidate for a lot of uh, phosphorus. So, that's where a lot of people that I've seen recently explaining it get it wrong. And they switch it up, saying that our potassium is our flower nutrient and phosphorus being our root nutrient. Um, but that's where they get it backwards. Nitrogens for your green growth. Phosphorus is for your flowers and fruits, and the potassium is root health and essentially like a plant immune system. So you want a high but steady um, potassium throughout your plant's life so that you encourage a uh, good immune system, good plant health, and healthy root growth. While it's in its rapid growth stage, you're going to want to feed it a heavier nitrogen so that you can get that green growth. When you switch over to flowering and fruiting, you're going to bump up that phosphorus to encourage really good fruit development. Um, cut back on your nitrogen. It'll improve your flavors on most things. And then, um, in the case of something like potatoes or onions or garlic, where the root is, or carrots even, you know, any of your root vegetables, beets, etc., when it, it comes time for bulbing, you're going to want something with a good good potassium so that you really build good root growth and so so it's really important to know the accurate distinguishment uh, between what N, P, and K are each responsible for so that you can adapt your feeding regiments to uh, the plants in the stage to focus on growing what it is you want that plant to focus on growing at that time. So, you know, corn. Corn we want to feed a lot of nitrogen. Whereas my tomatoes, right now they could start getting a good bloom boost and start bumping up that phosphorus. And then down here at the onions, where you can see our onions are bulbing. Well, we get them a nice potassium boost right now. They would really benefit from that and, and swell up. So, I hope this helps clarify things. I don't mean to knock on anybody um, or, or try and, you know, one-up anybody. I'm not trying to anything like that. Just... Something that I've noticed recently in a couple of videos I've watched where people were getting the information wrong and I think it's something that's really important to know if obviously you're trying to grow plants you want to feed them the right nutrients at the right time to get the most bang for your buck. So hopefully that helps and you know you go ahead and check at check my word go to any any fertilizers and look anything that's uh, regimented towards grow or veg growth you're gonna see as a high nitrogen any of your bloom boosters or flower boosters uh, they're gonna have a high P and uh, you'll generally see 
the easiest way to show that uh, K is for roots is look for a a root hormone or root booster uh, usually for like hydroponics or aquaponics you're gonna find I've got I've got a rooting boost that is a zero zero one you know because you don't want too much nitrogen or uh, phosphorus when you're cloning plants in the cloner uh, too much of the other nutrients they're not ready for it with their very small uh, roots or no roots but you want that uh, rooting agent in there to help kick off those roots so hopefully that clarifies things up I'm starting to ramble it's getting dark thank you guys so much for stopping by hope you all learned something and until next time hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time bye bye